Yo you guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the video. So I've been waiting to make this vlog for about two and a half to three months. I want to just get some miles in like all three shoes, especially the Pegasus 37. And these were just released um, like maybe like two months ago. So I've been waiting to make this vlog. And I was even waiting before the Pegasus 37 release. So I'm so happy I'm making this vlog. And today's run and it was in the Pegasus 37. It was nine miles, eight, ten a mile. And I was going super easy today. Well, mainly because my legs just needed an easy day because I've been going pretty fast the, uh, like the last four or five days and you know my legs just needed it and it was also very humid it was 70 degrees with uh, a 99 percent humidity so it was definitely not an easy like it like the weather conditions weren't ideal let's just say that so yeah, I'm gonna wait to make this vlog two and a half, three months. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of background of each shoe. So the Pegasus 35, I got this shoe when I was in Las Vegas at the Nike outlet. And I have two pairs of the Pegasus 35. And I got this pair at the Jackson outlets in New Jersey. And I've had a total of three pairs of Pegasus 35, but one pair, uh, like that, that pair just ruined. I threw it out. So, two pairs of the Pegasus 35 right now, and I do not run in either of these shoes. I retired both of these. Uh, the Pegasus 36, I got this shoe at Foot Locker at Freehold Raceway Mall in New Jersey. And uh, this, I paid full price for this shoe, $120, and I've got, I, I also retired this shoe. I put, a, I put just over 400 miles in this shoe, and I'm done with this shoe, so no more running in this shoe. And last but not least, the Pegasus 37 got these at running warehouse uh, about three weeks ago yeah I'll, I'll say about three weeks ago and I have a total of 46 miles in the shoe so these three shoes are going to be the shoes that I'm talking about the 37 the 36s and the 35s so I'm going to start off with what they have in common and you know they don't have much in common because this is such a big jump from this so uh first similarity is the outsole the outsole pattern is relatively the same on every single shoe i'll put uh, all of them on the screen right now you can see the outsole pattern is relatively the same so that is one similarity between the three another similarity between the three is that they both have the same heel counter now this is um it's it's not like a big deal, but like it's just something to you know keep in mind because you know that can matter because uh, the Pegasus lineup usually has the outwards heel counter, which prevents blisters. So that is a big thing with Nike Pegasus shoes. So getting right into the comparison, um, and you know just keep in mind I haven't run equal miles in all these shoes. Oh, and one more thing, um, the uh, longest runs I've done in all these shoes. So the Pegasus 35, I've done, I've done a 15 mile long run in. That was back in the 2018 marathon training block. The 36 is I've done a 13 mile long run in, and the 35s today's run was nine miles. So you know I have run different distances, so uh, just keep that in mind. You know maybe like my comparison won't be perfect because you know I have run different miles in these, but I thought now would be a good uh, time to make this video. So starting off first, comfort. Uh, I gotta give it to the 37s. Just because that React midsole, you know, it's nice and squishy, nice and responsive, and you know the overall upper suit uh, and like locks down your foot pretty well, and the lacing system also locks down your foot pretty well. So comfort, you know, it has a smooth ride. So comfort, I gotta give it to the 37s. Next is lockdown. Now you may just heard that the lockdown is pretty good. But I gotta give the lockdown to the 36s. When I wear, when I wear the shoe, I like I can't imagine my foot moving around in the shoe or slipping in the shoe like it just the fly wire cables are so much longer than on the Pegasus 35 that it just wraps around my foot so much better and the, so the lockdown I gotta go with the 36's next is toe off so uh, I'll, I'll use this shoe for example so toe off how your foot uh, like propels like the your forefoot how it like propels off the ground I gotta give that to the 37's just because it does have that curvature toe uh, like that curvature uh, like toe design unlike the other models they do not have that it's pretty flat but this does have a curved sign this does have a curved forefoot so that does just help with toe off 
Next is the upper. I also got to give that to the Peg 37. It's that just translucent, translucent mesh upper. It's definitely more breathable than the other two. So that is one big thing. And, you know, breathability is a super important thing, especially in those summer months because you don't want your feet getting extremely warm in those summer months because, you know, that can cause some discomfort. And it can also, um, it just mainly cause discomfort. So um, upper, I got to give it to the 37s. Next is the tongue. So this um, is super important because you don't want your laces digging into your foot. And I got to give that to the 35s. I, I like this tongue way better than on the 36s and on the 37s. The 36s and the 37s both have a very small tongue and the, the tongue was first updated in the 36s. So the 35s, the tongue is just so much better. You know, I definitely feel that the laces won't dig in my foot. It's super padded. So the tongue is like a million times better than the 37s and the 36s. So tongue, I got to give it to the Pegasus 35. Next is the midsole. I got to give that to the Pegasus 37. It has that React midsole, which is a lot more durable than Cushlon midsole. And Cushlon is in the Pegasus 35 and 36s. And um, so Nike, like their two main durable foams is Lunar Lawn, which is in the Nike Zoom Flies. That foam, I think, lasts for about 600 to 700 miles. And it's React, which lasts for about 500 miles. So React is in the Pegasus 37, and that definitely... That foam is more durable, so I would get more miles in it. So, midsole, I got to give it to the Pegasus 37. Next is longevity. I also got to give it to the Pegasus 37. Just also because of that midsole and the outsole. It also has this uh, cash rubber rail outsole. And also, um, just another thing, the outsole, I also got to give it to the 37s. Because it does have that cash, uh, rubber, that cash rail outsole which helps grip the ground in wet conditions that the 35s and the th uh, the 35s and 36s do not have. And I told you before the outsole patterns are the same. This has uh, some a couple different material like it has a different material on it on the um, uh, lateral side, but the outsole design is relatively the same. Now another one is the lacing system. I got to give that to the 37s as well because it does have these new, uh, I forget what they're called. I'll put it on the screen right there, but th I definitely do like this lacing system better just because, you know, um, I, I just feel like the flat wire cables, you know, it can be a little bit like too tight, I got to say, but these do lock down my foot very well. And this is actually pretty close to the 36s and the 37s, but I just went with the 37s just because, you know, these flower wire cables can sometimes get a little bit annoying and, like, um, just, like, untying them can also be a little bit of a pain. So, and also, the, these also can make my foot a little bit too tight because I do want some breathability in the shoe. So those, um, just these, uh, cables that run along here are just, uh, better in my opinion for the shoe. Now, price range, obviously that has to go to the 35s. You can find this shoe for, like, not dirt cheap, but, you know, these are very, very cheap. You know, DickSportingGoods.com, um, Nike.com. You can find these super cheap. You can also find the 36 is very cheap on Nike.com. 60, 70 bucks, men and women. And also, uh, Pegasus 35, you can find men and women very cheap. The 37s, you're only, you're only going to find one price for these, $119. Um, it, like, certain websites will say 120 it's either 119 or 120 you're not going to see anything lower and you're not going to see anything higher. This is just such a newly released shoe that, you know, the price is just not going to drop. But I see when the 38's coming out, the price of this shoe is going to drop. Just naturally because, you know, like, the, um, like, the consumers are going to want to buy the 38's just because, you know, innovation and everything like that. Um, overall ride, I gotta give it to the 37s as well too, just because of that, uh, curvature in the foot. And I also really like the ride in the, uh, 35s. The 36s, um, you know, it's fine, but just, I feel like this also has more stack height in the heel. And I just feel like better, more, more, I feel more propulsion in the 35s than the 36s, but I like the ride the most in the 37s. So, obviously, the overall winner of this battle from the Pegasus 35, 36, and 37 is the Pegasus 37. Oh, why did I do that? Um, so, the winner is obviously the Pegasus 37. I mean, obviously, it's going to happen because, you know, each generation of shoes should get better. It should be, you know, lots of, there's a lot of innovation in this shoe just by the upper the uh, eyelid chain, just there's a bunch of innovation in the shoe that the Pegasus 35 and 36 just don't have. And there's just so many updates from this shoe 
um, from this shoe to this shoe. I mean, like the updates is just crazy. Unlike from the 35s to the 36s, I mean, the really only big update was in the tongue. So there was just a lot of major, major updates that did help the Pegasus lineup in the Pegasus 37. And I got to admit, I'm really liking this shoe. And going forward for a uh, running shoe, like, because uh, I want to get full reviews out to you, my plan is I want to, like, pick one or two running shoes, and I want to alternate them every other day until I get the full review. And then, like, put those shoes on, like, a little running break. Well, like, just, like, not wear them for a little bit. And then I'm going to take the other shoes that, like, need full reviews and do that. And I'm going to keep on doing that until I get full reviews. So I'm going to probably give, do this shoe and um, uh, probably either the Convar 11s or the Adidas SL20. So I'm going to probably get you a full review by this. I'm hoping by the end of July. I mean... Uh, I mean the beginning of July. So I'm hoping by the beginning of July I will have a full review for this shoe. And yeah, I'm at 46 miles in the shoe. Oh, and I don't run in these two shoes anymore. I do run in this shoe. So yeah. This is my comparison of the Pegasus 35, 36, and 37. Obviously the Pegasus 37 won. I mean, I don't know if you guys guessed that right off the bat, but obviously... This shoe won, and honestly, I'm very happy with this shoe. Very happy with the money I invested in it, and yeah, I don't regret anything about that shoe. So yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more vlogs.